Hello, everyone. Anyone out there? Uh, it's Matt here again, and I am at Battle Elementary School today. And we're going to show you a little bit about the super cool Battle Elementary maker space that Mrs. Burkemper has put together. I'm going to go ahead and flip my camera around so you can stop looking at me because no one wants that. All right, so here I am standing outside the Battle Elementary maker space. Here is the long hallway down to the office. And right down here is this beautiful bulletin board that Kristen put together. Welcome to Makerspace, all the cute robots and whatnot here. So we've got a class coming out here. So I'm going to hand the mic over to Mrs. Burkemper. Here she is. And she's going to give us a little tour of the Makerspace. Hi, guys. Oh, yay. How exciting. Oh, wait, you're fine. We have some friends walking in the hallway. Oh, hi. All right, guys, so welcome to the Makerspace. I don't know, are you want a fan? Um, so this is an empty classroom right now, and we have been gracious, graciously given, um, been given the, the use of it for this first year and for as long as we can. Um, it's awesome. We have all of this great storage over here for all of our tools. So we have duct tape in there and straws and glue guns and tape and all the things that we're going to use at some point with our kids. So we're going to show you guys around, I guess. This feels very strange. <laughs> all right. Um, so we kind of have it set up as different stations. So towards the back, we have um, kind of more of a building area. And it's just simple stuff like foam blocks um, that we were able to purchase. Um, and then we have some storage over here for connects. Um, and the kids really seem to like these so they can build all kinds of things. And then we always keep, um, in case they get stuck, we have the little guide building guide so they can get some ideas um, so we keep that handy um, we have some storage over here for some making books that we purchased through the library um, and over here we have our very cool drone that our school won um, and we've played with it a little bit and we're excited to use it with some kids and have them experience all the fun that is drones <laughs> Um, we were able to purchase some, these are called brackets, um, and they're specifically like STEM building tools, um, and they're really cool. There's these wooden blocks, and then they come with these connectors, um, and the kids can build towers and um, all kinds of different things, so it's great for design thinking. It's very open-ended, so if they're given a problem um, to create like a building or a structure or a bridge, they can use these to create those. Um, and this set, I got the middle set, um, I think they're around $40. Um, there's a beginning set, and then there's like this extravagant set, but that seemed a bit much. So we got two sets of the middle one. We have more storage over here, and we have lots of tools um, in case we need them. This actually is a Scholastic Classroom Toolkit, so if you have lots of Scholastic points and you're looking to start a maker space, this would be a great thing to purchase or use your points on. And then we just have some other tools in here, screwdrivers and pliers, um, tape measures. I don't, sure, I don't know what those are. I'm still learning, too. So you don't have to be an expert at building or making or fixing in order to start a makerspace. We have our wonder wall over here. So as the kids are um, using the makerspace, anytime they have a wondering, they can put it up here. They're laminated, so we can use them kind of as dry erase. Our bulletin over there is hashtag maker, and we're hoping to use that kind of as like an Instagram board so the kids are taking pictures of the things they make and them building and creating, um, and we'll update that constantly. Cool. We have an open counter over here where our 3D printer will soon be living. Um, we were awarded a $500 grant to bring Project Lead the Way curriculum and a 3D printer and some other maker tools, so that'll live over here. And then my favorite part, is our Lego wall. Um, it was actually really easy to do if you have an empty bulletin board. Um, we just attached, I don't know if you can see, we attached foam board, we just staple gunned it up there, and then I hot glued the bases 
to the foam board and then you can build right on the board and make all kinds of cool things. This has changed a lot. The kids come in and especially during Meet the Teacher, they were all over it. Um, and then we have these storage bins and everything's color corded. These were only $15 at Menards. So they're pretty inexpensive as far as storage is concerned. We're hoping that once the kids kind of figure it out that it's color corded, it stays that way. We'll see though. Um, and then over here we have kind of a circuit station. Um, these are snap circuits um, and they, they just snap together and there's 30 different ones that come as pre-projects in the book. So these are good bases for the kids to start from. And then once they have a solid understanding of how the circuits work, then they can create their own. Um, and this is super inexpensive. This whole set um, is, it's on the back is only $30. Um, so that's something really attainable that you could have in your classroom. We're hoping to get more sets of those. We have our design process up here, which we'll be teaching throughout our makerspace. And that's ask, imagine, um, plan, create, and then approve, improve. Um, so that's kind of those main questions that we're going to be asking and working on with our kids as they're doing some designing. Um, I know. That's <laughs> And I only did it on the first time. I didn't have to even erase it. We have these cool um, gears that the kids can connect and build and kind of work together and kind of figure out how gears work. They're just kind of fun, too. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you're gathering supplies from other sources other than grants and whatnot. Like yes. Whatnot. Oh, should I, should I show them the closet? Yeah. All right. So everybody has, like, those... Um, Lots of stuff that they typically throw away, and especially as we were opening a new building, lots of things got delivered in cardboard and bubble wrap, which are great building materials. You just never know when you're going to need those. And instead, I don't know how far this reaches, and instead of buying them, we have this nifty closet. This room is awesome. What's behind the locked door? It's motion censored, so I have to like go in to turn on the light. Um, but we have boxes and cardboard and foam board and all kinds of stuff, toilet paper rolls, um, anything that somebody's not going to use, um, we kind of just drop it in here because you never know when you're going to need those kind of building materials. These big tubes are from the carpets, like the big rolled up carpets that our teachers got at the beginning of the year. Um, I imagine we'll do something really cool with those. I'm just not sure what. And that's okay because the kids will figure it out. So um, ways you can get materials, obviously through grants, um, but talking to your parents, sending something home. Um, on Meet the Teacher Night, I um, met with one of our dads who is an assistant manager at Walmart, and he said, let me know what you need, and I will see what I can get you. So just talking to parents um, and community members that are um, – like if, you, if there's an engine, you know, one of your parents in your school might be in an engineer. You might work for a company that might be willing to donate or um, even just come and help. Because not only do you want materials, but you want some kids to be interacting with some experts as well. Very so, cool. we have any Thank questions? You. Are any we questions? good? Unless you have four people questions. No, no questions. All right. Any questions out there for anybody? For our expert. I'm not an expert. I'm learning just like everybody else, but we're really excited. Um, the kids will start coming on the 14th. That's Magic Monday here at Battle Elementary. Um, they'll have the option to come uh, during club time, which is during their recess. They'll be able to sign up to come to Makerspace um, during that time, and then we're hoping to get more classes in during the day, too. So uh, tell us your uh, Twitter handles. So oh, yeah, follow us. Um, mine is at Burkemper. B U R K E M P E R E B E, or you can follow our school at Battle E L E M. Hashtag Makerspace. Awesome. Thank you much for the, uh, for the tour. All right. Bye, guys. All right, bye.